On December 2nd, I provided what I thought would be the final software update to the box. Surely enough, I was able to come up with a couple of more features that I'll be providing today. Version 4.1, which is available as of this video's release, contains one major improvement to in-game melee functionality, as well as a few minor corrections. I'll be going over each of these so that everyone can be up to date. The first features I'll be covering are corrections to the upbeat distribution that's intended to be used for Fox and Falco. This is the distribution that's performed by holding modifier X or Y in conjunction with one of the four C-stick directions. The C-stick down and up coordinates have both been changed as I realized that they contained an illegal coordinate. The next feature on version 4.1 is the highlight of this update. This feature involves yet another improvement to up B functionality. As I just mentioned, the up B distribution that's been provided thus far is ideal for Fox and Falco because the angles are spread out as perfectly as they can be. However, this distribution falls flat when you're playing as one of the five characters who have magnitude dependent up Bs. Because these characters have their up Bs travel as far as the analog stick is being pointed, the current distribution doesn't function properly since its magnitudes are scattered. Up until this point, it's been recommended to always hold the B button when recovering as one of these characters. By holding B, the up B angle is extended outward, and so you'll receive a greater magnitude. However, this meant that there was no way to properly perform shortened recoveries. We've addressed that on version 4.1 by adding an all new up B distribution, which we call the magnitude distribution. The magnitude distribution is slightly less perfect than the species distribution in terms of how its angles are spread out. However, this is made up for by the fact that its magnitude remains consistent. All the coordinates on the magnitude distribution are extended by roughly 80%. This allows you to perform two different up B variants, shortened and extended. People who play characters that are affected by the magnitude distribution will surely find that it's an important feature that went overlooked for many years. To swap between the species distribution and the magnitude distribution, hold the B button before plugging in your box. This is one of three plug and holds, with the other two being up and down on the analog stick. Those two adjust notch toggles that I've covered in my other videos. To be exact about which characters are supposed to use the magnitude distribution, make sure to use this distribution if you're playing as Sheik, Zelda, Pikachu, Pichu, or Mewtwo. Next, there are some changes to the Y axis values that correspond with the modifier buttons. The more important of the two changes is on modifier Y. Previously, modifier Y used a Y value that didn't correspond with anything significant. We've changed this Y value to 0.8 so that it's in line with the magnitude up B angles that were added. The value of 0.8 lets you travel a similar distance with your up B in the vertical direction. The other Y axis change is on modifier X. I realized that modifier X's Y value could be brought in line with its quadrants by changing it to 0.3125. This won't have too much of an effect on anything in game, but it's better for consistency. Finally, the last feature on version 4.1 is an adjustment to the C-Stick's coordinates. The C-Stick currently uses a steep angle in each of its four quadrants. This angle is chosen because it's needed to perform platform slide-offs in certain scenarios. A couple of years ago, I released a video which covered this subject. What that video explained is that there are certain frames of tech roll and get-up roll that cause your ECB to shift to the side of the platform. During these frames, you'll have to ASDI diagonally down in order to shift your character back atop the platform. While this justifies using a steep C-stick angle in quadrants 3 and 4, I realized that it wasn't appropriate to support this feature in quadrants 1 and 2, and so those quadrants have had their coordinates shifted to the default ones. That rounds out box version 4.1. We hope that you enjoy this update. To download it, please visit the links provided in the video description. Also, don't forget that revision 1, 2, and 3 PCBs use a different patching method than revision 4.